Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to calibrate conductivity and pH on the TPS WP81 pH wide range conductivity TDS ATC and temperature meter. Starting with conductivity. For accurate conductivity TDS and salinity results, the WP81 requires calibration to a known standard at least weekly. Zero calibration should also be performed at least monthly. However, the more frequent the calibration, the greater confidence you can have in the accuracy of your measurements. When there is an asterisk in place of the decimal point, the conductivity salinity TDS is either not calibrated or calibration has failed. The asterisk will be removed once calibration is performed. For this example, we are using 1413 microsiemens per centimetre standard solution, pre-poured into a clean container. Some distilled water for rinsing and a tissue. To start, ensure your meter is in conductivity measurement mode. To do this, press menu, then F3 mode, F1 conductivity TDS salinity, then F1 COND. Starting with the zero calibration. Rinse the conductivity sensor in distilled water. Then shake off as much water as possible. Blot the outside of the sensor dry, but do not touch the sensor plates. Then let the sensor air dry. Wait for the reading to stabilize either at or near zero. Once the sensor is stable at or near zero, go to menu, F1 cal, then F1 COND. The sensor automatically recognizes the zero calibration. Press F1 to calibrate. If the calibration is successful, the screen will display calibrate OK and the sensor's zero value. Zero calibration is complete. Now to perform a standard calibration. Allowable standards for the WP81 are 150 or 1413 microsiemens per centimeter and 2.76, 12.88 and 58 millisiemens per centimeter. Select your standard based on your expected measurement range. When you place a conductivity probe into standard solution, ensure it is immersed above the vent hole. Place the electrode into the calibration solution. Then press menu, F1 cal, F1 conductivity. Wait for the reading to stabilize. When stable, press F1 to calibrate. If successful, the screen will display calibrate OK and the sensor's K factor. Rinse the electrode and the sensor is now ready for use. Next is pH calibration. WP81 is preset to recognize pH 4.01, pH 7 and pH 9.18 buffers automatically. You can adjust the meter to automatically recognize 6.86 instead of 7 and 10.01 instead of 9.18. To adjust, start with the meter off. Press and hold the F1 key while switching the meter on. The buffer set selection menu will now be displayed. Use this corresponding function key, either F1 or F2, to select your neutral buffer solution between pH 7 or pH 6.86. The arrow indicates the current selection. Once selected, you will be able to choose your high pH buffer. Use the corresponding function key, either F1 or F2, to select your standard between 9.18 or pH 10.01. Once confirmed, the meter will automatically move on to the main measurement screen. Ensure your meter is in pH measurement mode. Go to Menu, F3 Mode, F3 pH. As with conductivity, an asterisk will appear in the place of the decimal point when pH is not calibrated or if calibration has failed. It will return to a decimal point after a successful two-point calibration has occurred. To start pH calibration, remove the sensor cap from the pH electrode. Temperature measurements are taken via the conductivity probe, so this will also need to be connected and used to ensure automatic temperature compensation for your calibration and measurements. When you place a conductivity probe into standard solution, ensure it is immersed above the vent hole. For this example, we'll calibrate to pH 4.01 and pH 7. To begin calibration, go to Menu, F1 Cal, F2 pH. Immerse your sensors into the pH 7 buffer solution and wait for the reading to stabilize.
When the reading has stabilized, press the F1 key to calibrate. If the calibration is successful, the display will state 1 point cal OK and it will provide the asymmetry of the sensor. Rinse the sensors in distilled water. Then place both sensors into the next standard solution. Go to menu, F1 cal, F2 pH. The meter will automatically detect the buffer solution. Wait for the reading to stabilize. Once stable, press F1 to calibrate. If successful, the screen will display 2 point cal OK and give the asymmetry. This time the slope will also display before returning to the home screen within a few seconds. Two point calibration is complete. You can rinse the sensors with distilled water and continue on to a third point of calibration or the meter is now ready to take accurate pH measurements. And that's how to perform conductivity and pH calibration on the TPS WP81 pH conductivity and temperature meter. For more information on this meter, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.